I got nothing. Normally I would be sitting here with a CD or even a vinyl in my hands, but as you can see, I've got nothing. Different times, normally I wouldn't do this uh, album review, but um, I'm making an exception because, well, I may be empty handed, but I do have something for you guys by design or by disaster. The third For All We Know album. Hi, this is uh, Ruud Jody from For All We Know and you're watching Live Proc. Hi, this is Woodstick, you're watching Live Proc. Rock on. No, seriously, rock on. You know, normally I would be sitting here like this. This is the first For All We Know album, self titled. Back in the day, self-released by Ruchu Lee, the guitar player from Within Temptation, because he wanted to have some music of his own. So he gathered some amazing musicians and he created this album. And I remember uh, around this, uh, the release of this album, I had a visit with him, I had a chat with him and with Woodstick, a singer, uh, about the album, of course, and about all the backgrounds. You can find that interview. It's been 13 years uh, ago since we did that, but it's still on my Live Proc channel, of course. To this very day, I play it very regularly. Now, about Woodstick, I have to mention that because back then I was kind of surprised to find Woodstick being the singer for all we know, because uh, I knew he had more like a hip hop background and, and a kind of completely other genre of music, uh, even though a couple of years before the For All We Know album, he already did a guest spot on an Aryan album, so he was not a kind of completely strange to the whole progressive rock, progressive metal world, and he kind of, I, I found out that he likes that kind of music even before he went into hip hop. So, um, but he stuck with Ruchuli, he stuck with For All We Know, because again on this album he's the singer. Now you might think, hey, aren't you missing something? Well, actually, yeah, I did miss it, because I've been away for the proc world for a couple of years, and I completely missed that in 2017, Ruchuli released his second For All We Know album called Take Me Home. In cases like this, I'm kind of glad that I have a streaming service that I can uh, go to because there I can listen to that album. So I listened to the album and I gotta say, I was really happy and it's like, okay, I'm missing out something. My collection is missing a CD. I gotta buy that one. But then I picked up on the news, hey man, there's a third For All We Know album coming out, By Design or By Disaster. I kind of like the way they put that title in because normally you would say By Design or Disaster, but they made it By Design or By Disaster. It is an album about the journey through life. And uh, what you can expect if, if you base your album on, on basically everybody's life, uh, look at your own life, I'll look at my life, you know that you go through all kinds of emotions, all kinds of feelings throughout your life. You have ups, you have downs, you have good times, you have bad times. And that is also reflected in this music. So when I looked at the lineup of the album, um, which was interesting by the way, but I'll tell you in a second, I noticed that with Woodstick, it did not only say vocals, but also screams. Yeah, I can imagine that. And I'll get back into that because I have a couple of tracks I want to highlight. Let's go to, to the lineup because that brings me to a few other things I want to say about the album. Uh, we have Leo Margarit on drums, Christopher Gildenlo on bass, Marco Kuipers on piano, and of course Rudy Julie, the man himself on guitars, backing vocals, additional keyboards and programming. Pretty much the same lineup as the previous albums, save for one person, Thijs Schreinemakers, who only played on the first two albums and not on this one. Um, but still, uh, and, and that I found that interesting because that shows that when Ruud started for all we know with this one, as it was his wish to have at least some of his own music uh, documented, um, I have a feeling they moved on from being a kind of a project to an actual band and a very tight band I might say, especially when I listen to that new upcoming third album because that sounds really matured. You do hear hints of the previous albums in it, um, which is important because that is what makes it for all we know. When you listen to the album and you know the previous albums, you hear it. It's it's. I, I didn't invent this myself, I picked it up on, a, on a, something I read, a Szechuan sauce. You know, the, the, they have a Szechuan sauce in it that when you hear it, you know it, this is for all we know. And that, that's what I love about it. At the same time, I find that this album does sound different than its two predecessors. Uh, like I said, it sounds more matured. 
and, and, and the way they wrote the songs, the way they the, reproduced the whole thing, he did a really good job. And I, like I said, I, I don't have a CD. I got a digital promo. When I got it, I put it on a USB so I can listen to it in my car. I listen to it on various media, like a Bluetooth speaker, like on my phone, but also on my good stereo in my living room. So all kinds of mediums. And I got to say, on each of them, the album sounds fantastic. So that's very good. But when I put it on the USB in my car, it mixed up the order of the tracks. It went from track 1 to track 10, track 11, and then back to 2, and then it... Uh, played in the correct order again so um, but when I was listening in my car and I noticed that the first thing I heard I picked up on were the drums the drums on this album uh, are, are really good they really stand out um, yeah in, 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 in a very positive way that you really like wow this sounds really great a tasting for more. So that's that's the first thing I picked up on the album. Uh, the second thing I picked up on the album is the second track called Lifeline, which is in fact also the second single. Uh, that kind of sounds, I would almost say, a bit poppy. It's a bit poppy, it's a very accessible song, uh, but I like it very much. It's very easy on the ears, and that is a song that might attract a lot of new people towards For All We Know, people that might not be into progressive rock or metal or anything, uh, but when they hear that, they might say, okay, man, hey, this sounds interesting, let's hear more, and then they can get into the album. So I think that's a, a really well-written track. They have, the album has some proggy parts, uh, it has a lot of emotional parts in it, but it also has, and I don't know if that's the correct word a little bit, but more extreme parts in it, uh, especially the third track, This Hell We Know. Um, already before that, that happens in the second track also, but there I got a feeling that Woodstick kind of unleashes his inner James Labrie with the screams he has there. It, it kind of reminds me, uh, uh, not just in that song, in a couple of other songs as well, he really reminds me of James Labrie. I'm not the biggest James Labrie fan, I'll be honest about that, and I know that Woodstick is a big fan of James Labrie, he's a big inspiration to him, um, but but. I gotta say, um, I'm, I'm really impressed with the range that, that Woodstick shows on this album with his vocals. Uh, but I gotta be honest, the, the, the more emotional songs are the ones that I like the most when I listen to this album. But you know, life isn't always about uh, nice things. Sometimes you have this anger, you have this aggression, you have these, these yeah, frustrations you need to get out. And that is vocalized, for example, in a track like uh, This Hell We Know. Something I also noticed when I was listening to the album is that on the previous two albums, I really find that the guitars are a little dominant, which is of course understandable because it is Ruchuli's project. He is a guitar player, so it's completely understandable and, and normal that you know the guitars play a very prominent role in the album. But on this one, I find them less dominant. I find them more woven into the songs. So again, that shows that the, the, the band has matured a lot in their songwriting, in their compositions, in their arrangements and everything. Um, and, and yeah, they, they sound like a tight band. I like that very much. The songwriting is good. Um, a good example is track 11, the, 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 the closing track of the album, uh, which is a really emotional song. It has some really beautiful Pianos by Marco Kuipers. Yeah, and, and these fragile vocals by Woodstick. And then you have this beautiful guitar by, by, by Ruth. But it's, it's, it's just a little bit guitar in it. And the rest is like piano, drums, you know, keys. Really beautiful song. A couple of tracks that I, I st stand out for me. Um, I mentioned Lifeline. I mentioned Goodbye. Um, I gotta mention one more. I, I, I could mention more tr tracks, but you really have to listen to it for yourself. If you are familiar with the first two albums, you're absolutely gonna love this. If you are not familiar with For All We Know at all, just buy the album and listen to it. You are going to love it because it's absolutely a beautiful album. But um, track number 10. Ghosts of Summer's Past, the atmosphere the band brings there, the vocals in it, the piano in it. Um, yeah, the that, that, that piano really adds to the atmosphere, uh, uh, the, the guitars in it. It makes up such a great, great song, but there are so many fantastic songs on it. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest, I love the entire album. I really had a lot of fun listening to the album. I listened a lot to the album. I, I can't wait for this album to hit the stores. March 22nd, it's going to be out. 
um, so I can finally get myself a physical copy of the album so I can have the full artwork on it because now I only have a digital you know image of the cover I gotta say again a really beautiful cover with references to the first two albums in it which is very important so that also makes it makes all the albums put together you know they are all connected to each other and 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 that's great not just by the band members not just by the fact that it's Ruth Julie's you know musical vision uh, but but in all aspects all these albums are connected to each other and I think that is really great and that shows that uh, Ruth Julie and also Woodstick are some amazing um, songwriters so yeah it's a fantastic album you will love it and I'm really interested in hearing your opinions about the album so if you heard the album uh, let me know in the comments what you think of it but most importantly if you don't have it get yourself a copy of for all we know by design or by disaster because it's a fantastic album okay thank you for watching guys and um, enjoy the music and I hope to see you guys with the next video